Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul for the Game Boy Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I still haven't taken on Yami Yugi yet, and I'm gonna do that right now. Actually, I would, unfortunately I was interrupted by someone. It happened so suddenly there was no time to grasp the situation. A man appeared, shrouded in a cl cloak as black as night, even though it's purple, or burgundy or magenta, or some purplish color, and really blocked your path. The man flings off his robe to reveal his identity. Strings? My rare card, you lose. Um, I've never lost to you once, Strings. But apparently now there are random duels where you have to compete for your rarest card. If you lose, you actually do lose a card. These are like Battle City rules. Don't be surprised about this stuff. But yeah, with that in mind, we have to be extra careful. The bad news is we do lose a good card if we lose. The good news is we actually get five good cards if we win. How about that for democracy, am I right? Thank you, Kaiba, for Battle City rules. I'll end my turn. Harpy's Feather Duster. You didn't waste any time. Okay, I'll set this face down. Okay, I'd use Cyberstein, but I'm gonna save him for later. Instead, I'll attack that face down monster. Ugh, Needle Worm. Okay, what cards did he destroy? Hmm, Cybertech Alligator and all that. Luckily I got a Monster Reborn to bail him out. Speaking of Monster Reborn... I took my monster! You asshole! That's not yours! And you know what? I'm gonna destroy it, just to spite you! Oh great, another face down card. Hmm... I think I'll play Gravekeeper Servant. And then I will... I think I'll just attack directly once. Okay, that was safe. Ah, uh, Numinous Healer. Okay. Then, I think I will... Sacrifice my Vorse Raider to bring in Summon Skull. I had to see if that was a Mirror Force first. And since it wasn't, I felt it was fair game. Okay, I'm still gonna save Cyberstein for later, but first let's summon Mechanical Chaser to the field. Let's see what this is. Ah, Magician of Faith. And it's Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay, Summon Skull, attack directly. There's another Numinous Healer. This one's gonna be stronger, because he gains an extra 500 life points for every Numinous Healer in his graveyard. So I'm getting a little further back, unfortunately. Not by much, but still. Great, now he's gonna destroy my Mechanical Chaser. Oh well. I think I should be able to finish this. I think I'll summon Cyberstein to the field. Use its effect. Do a little calculating to see if I need to play Monster Reborn. Okay, 2500... Uh, yeah, that's, that's enough on its own. It's over. Victory for M.E. Me! I don't know what that was, that's random. There won't be it next time. It will be mine. Okay, these are the cards I got. Magician of Faith, Thousand Dragon, Toon Mer Mermaid, that's my first Toon Monster. Muka Muka, which gains attack points for every month card in my hand. Oh, and defense points too. And Mask of Darkness. Same as Magician of Faith, only with trap cards. Excuse me, I'm a bit of hiccups. Ooh, and I get five more new cards! 
Well, other than Megamorph, I didn't get a whole lot that was useful. Okay, now let's take on Yami Yugi, which I was supposed to do earlier. You won't find me an easy opponent. If you're wise, you'll hit me with everything you've got. Yes, I will. And if you're wise, you fuck Taya because she clearly wants your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you're kidding, right? So, this is the almighty Pharaoh I gotta worry about. He's like, I'm gonna hit you with everything I got. Now, yeah, I'll end my turn, you know. <laughs> I'll do absolutely nothing. Oh, you had a Karibo. Well, despite having no cards to play, you still managed to escape damage. Go you. Oh, Pot agreed. Okay, I'll play Robin Goblin. Graceful Charity. Well, he did pretty have a pretty shitty hand, so... He had to play those cards, right? Okay, I'll set this face down. Alright, I can't attack, so I have to end my turn. Ooh, Giant Soldier of Stone. And let's see... I'll sacrifice Sangin to bring in Cybertech Alligator. And what monster should I add to my hand? Yep, we got a winner. Okay, then I'll flip Summon Man Eater Bug. But I think I'll use it on this face-down monster. I'm not worried about cyber I mean giant soldier of stone. So I can beat it. Okay, my swords are gone. So I'll flip this back to defense mode. Okay, now I'll summon Cyberstein to the field. And at the cost of 5,000 life points. Yeah, you know where this is going. Bring in the blue eyes ultimate dragon. And I still can't attack, I forgot about the swords. But now I can. Okay, he got nothing else. Ooh, but I gotta watch my damage. And he had to discard a card. Okay, I'll set this face down. Let's see... Should I bring him in now? Yeah, let's go for it. I'll sacrifice Maneater Bug and Cyber Attack Alligator to bring in the Blue Eyes White Dragon! There! Dragons and Dragons Unite! I see use Ultimate Dragon on Giant Soldier of Stone. And take out one card. Okay, let's see what this face down monster is. Ah, oh, just Sinister Serpent. Nothing to worry about. And I got Magic Jammer to bail me out. Jeez, poor guy. He's not getting a lot of help, unfortunately. Okay, um... This could be a gamble. But this could pay off, too. Ah, Cyber Jar! Shit! Well, he probably would have flipped it anyway. Mystical Space Typhoon, Chain Energy, Trap Hole, Stop Defense, Mirror Force. Great, so I got no monsters. Gamma the Magnet Warrior, Karibo, Witch of the Black Forest, Harpy's Feather Duster. Now, the only problem. Oh, wait, wait, I got Magic Jammer. Oh, great! That, that is unfucking believable So, basically, he drew, like, pretty much all monsters, and I drew none. Fuck me. Fine, I'll destroy this card. Whatever that was. And I'll set this face down, and... Let's see... Oh... 
set this face down. And I already summoned, so I can't draw any monsters. In my turn. Harpy's Feather Duster. I'll negate that with Magic Jammer. It's my best option possible. Yeah, Giant Soldier of Stone. And Sinister Serpent. Now, this could be the biggest mistake in Yugi's life. Because I got Mirror Force. But two of those monsters are Witch of the Black Forest. He can add two monsters to his hand. First one's Summon Skull. And the other one's Gemini Elf. And let's see. I'll summon Giant Rat to the field. Let's see what this other card is. Okay, I can take out one of these cards. What one was it? Oh, I got rid of that Gemini L. Perfect. In my turn. Ah, change of heart. This could turn out pretty awful. Very, very awful. I mean, I could be doing something I haven't done since the beginning of this LP. Lose a duel. And I don't want that to happen. I want to maintain a pretty good win-loss record through the entire game. I mean, doesn't anyone? Play Gravekeeper Servant. Oh, there's Magic Jammer. Okay, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I can still win this. I can still win this. All I have to do is stick to my guns. There we go. That That's half the battle. Hmm. Okay. That helps. That helps. In my turn. Oh man, this is down to the wire. That's probably Sinister Serpent, I bet. Okay, I'm not playing Delinquent Duo, and I can't believe they actually give you an option to activate it. That is just brainless. Who'd want to do that? Yep, it was Sinister Serpent. So let's finish this right now. While I still have some hope. And it's over. That was a close one. That could have went either way. That Cyber Jar made a lot of difference for him. Very good! When next time we play, I'll work with my partner to build an even more powerful deck. No, you won't. You'll just fail again. You'll use the same one you used against me before. Well, that would help against Bandit Keith if he was in this game. Stainstorm. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part.